Hello and good evening from Haven Center in St. Louis Park. I'm Bruce Hoburn along with Tom Sullivan. And tonight we have the Section 6-3A final game between the St. Louis Park, or between Vanilla St. Margaret Red Knights, such a habit there, Tommy, and the Orono Spartans. Vanilla St. Margaret's the number one seed in the section, and the Orono Spartans number three. For the Red Knights, they come into this game with a 19-9 record and sections wins against Bloomington Kennedy and Richfield. For Orono, they come into this game with an 18 and 10 record and section wins against uh, Robbinsdale, Cooper, and Delano. So Tommy, the Red Knights coming into this game winning nine of their last 10 games, 14 of their last 16 games. Uh, so they're on a little bit of a roll and it's gonna be tough for the Spartans. They've, they've won six of their last seven games, but prior to that, they had lost four of their last five. So. They're hoping that uh, the latest run is going to help them. So. Oh, yes. No, they're on, they're on fire right now, and they're going to feed off this electric crowd tonight. That's for sure. It's a rematch, a rematch of last year. Yeah, starting lineups for the Orno Spartans. The number zero, Brady Woolley, a 6'9 forward. He averages 14 points per game. Number three, Riley Nelson. He's a 6'2 senior guard, averaging 9.5 points per game. Number five, Nolan Groves, the star of the team, averaging 26.9 points per game. He's a six foot four junior guard. Number 11, Owen Hurt, 5'11", senior guard, averaging 1.5 points per game. And number 33, Mitchell Couch, he averages 10 points per game. He's a 6'2", junior guard. That's some good size there on Owen Hurt. They do, and now for the Red Knights, they come up with number one, Jaden Daisy. Senior guard averaging 15 points per game. Number three, Ron Lee. He's a senior guard averaging 10 points per game. Number five, Jaleel Donnelly, a junior guard averaging 14.7 points per game. Number 23, Abukita averaging 10.4 points per game. And number 24, Jalen Wilson, he averages 18.7. Head coach for the Benil St. Margaret Red Knights is Damian Johnson. And for the Orno Spartans, it is Barry Wooler. Right now they are announcing the entire team. Both teams have met twice during the season with the Red Knights winning the first contest, 83 to 54. The second contest by a score of 85-68. So the Spartans are looking to avenge those losses, Tom. And uh, and talking to the coaching staff of Orono, they feel they play much better than they did when they had played in those two games. So. And Orono, the Spartans have traveled. They are here in in a fine support right now of their team. That's for sure. Sold out crowd here. At the yeah, so Center. game's been sold out since Sunday. It's been uh, always fun to play in uh, gymnasiums when they're completely full and uh, it's the best it was sold out for the uh, the women's uh, game last week as well for the sections for Olivia Olson's last game here and it was electric that night as well uniforms in this game. The Red Knights will be in the red. Well, yes. loud, Tom. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. So again, one of the keys, Tom, is really in these games when you have so much the crowd, the enthusiasm, the emotion, is really how you start the game. Mm -hmm. um, getting that first basket so many times can really make that difference. And a lot of times you see these games go and there's just a lot of adrenaline and sometimes it takes teams like a couple minutes just to get that first basket. Yep. And so just that's gonna, gonna ease really get the you. nerves. You gotta ease the nerves. 
Yep. Stay within yourself. Yep. Well, we're going to have ourselves a great battle tonight, that's for sure. You got Daisy doing the jump here against Orno. I tell you, the size of these kids now, it's unbelievable. Oh, yeah, you got Wooly at six foot nine. Whoa. <laughs> no one really won that one. Uh -uh. They're going to re-jump, it looks like. Well, the game had touched it. No, they're going to, I think they'll reset the clock and just start this one over. Yeah. There you go, talking about those nerves. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Even the referee, if you don't throw it straight up at uh, there. He, he was shaking a little bit. Both student sections standing up here. Dorna wins the toss. This is Gross, averaging 26 points per game. Mm. Double team there. Cross court oh. pass, deflected out, out of bounds. Nice play by Donnelly. Gosh, is he athletic. Yeah, he's I think this is going to be a fast-paced game, Tom. I think uh, both teams are going to run the floor. Yes. And Ron Lee, very quick player on the Red Knights, too. Wooly, he's guarded by Wilson. Rebound. There we and go. Batted into the hands of the Red Knights. There Here comes Donnelly up into the front court. Quite the pressure. Look at Donnelly with the dribble, now passes it out. Donnelly gets it back. Across the lead, over to the right side. Three put up, not good. That was Daisy, rebound taken down by the Spartans. Here comes Riley Nelson into the lane, shot short. Wilson with the rebound, 0-0 zero, zero still. Here comes Wilson. Donnelly, look back to Wilson. Wilson averaging 18 points per game. Now Donnelly. Good defense. Outside Woo! shot is good. Jalil Donnelly with the first three of the game. Wow. That was a confident shot right there, right from the top of the key. That's what they needed. One thing with the Red Knights team is they have all five averaging double figures. So that's a very rare thing to happen for a, a team. Yeah, it's Everyone a can score. Group. Oh, nice answer. Yeah, it's Groves. Rolling Groves there, nice answer. Nice rebound and put back. 3-2, early going here. Sold out, Haven Center. This is Wilson, oh. in and out. Rebound tip, saved by the Red Knights, right into the hands. Red Knights get another opportunity, second chance opportunity for them here. Lee. A lot of contact. Well, he's going to call a foul. <laughs> Getting a little physical on the floor. That could have gone either way right there, Bruce. A lot of contact. Yeah, that's going to be on Lee. That's got the fans up on both sides. A lot of refs in the stands. A lot of refs in the stands tonight, Bruce. Hurt will take it up. Passes off for Nelson. There's a three put up by Gross. It's good. That was a deep three. He's got a three shot. He's got the first five points for him now, now, right? Groves, he's so Groves is Groves is 20th in the state in scoring. 26.9, he had 50 against the Orioles this year. And d up at the post. Good Ooh. move. Kata with the basket. 5-5. Five, 14.55 five. to go here in the first half. Inside move, good job defensively by Wilson. Tough defense, shot clock down to five seconds. Orno's yeah, got to move, two seconds. Oh, great Orno's defense. Stolen away by the Red, by the Red Knights. Fast break, 
Uh, and Jay-Z loses it out of bounds. That's a tough break there. That was some great defense. Great fast break, ready to get out the outlet there and just couldn't handle the ball. Really a good job on the transition defensively by Orono that time, getting back yes, very much to so. prevent that fast break. Not many times this uh, season we've seen the shot clock go down to zeros. These teams just move the ball like crazy. Good rebound by the Spartans. Here's a three, put up and in. Riley Nelson. Three point, Spartan lead. Don Lee. The refs are letting them play, a lot of contact. The refs are letting them play. This is Wilson. Nice oh. dude. Did a great job backing himself into the basket. And well, he's able to got turn great off. touch around the rim there, too. Yeah, Jalen's been a great, fun player to watch. He's only a junior, got another year left. And a great young man. It's been fun to get to know him over the, uh, the year here. Woolley, Nelson, Groves, turn around, good defense. Casey got a piece of that. Groves wants the foul, but I think that was a clean, clean block, block there. Spin move, nice oh. pass, but uh, Wilson just couldn't handle that one. Just off his fingertips. And there was those nerves then. Yeah, the play, they had a good play on, on that time, but just uh, a little too... High maybe on the pass, but this is Nelson. Spin move by Groves. And again, there's a block. Groves gets it back. There's a nice try to the basket put in by number three, Nelson. He now has five in the game. The Spartans aren't afraid to go inside. They're going right at the big guys from Benil. Oh. Nelson took a nice little elbow. And the three off the iron. Getting the following up on the rebound with Jalen Wilson. He puts it in. That's just some great hustle right there. Way to stick in the game in the play there. Xavier Lumpkin getting ready to check in for the Red Knights. And we're going to get a foul on the Red Knights. It's going to be Wilson. Luka Knudsen in for the Spartans. Just got subbed out. Again, you can see they're having to rush their shots a little bit with the good defense that Benil's playing inside the lane. They got some nice towers down there, Benil does. Makes it difficult at the rim. Wilson takes good it to the basket. Take. Misses the shot. That's deflected. Great contest by Nelson. I tell you, Nelson took a uh, elbow to the nose last possession. I think that's uh. fired him up. That one rolled around inside and out, but the follow-up again doesn't go. Oh, Brady Woolley saying, what do I need to do to get this ball to go in the hoop? Okay. He wants that lid off. Red Knights trailing by one. This is Lee. What a great atmosphere here. Oh. Finally short on the shot. Behind the back dribble. Good pass into Groves. What great awareness and control Groves had on that layup. Neither team goes too deep on their benches, but we're going to see another substitution coming up. First shot by Lumpkin, doesn't go. 
leading by three. Pushing the ball out of the Spartans. That shot didn't go by number one, Knudsen. I didn't notice that Groves is wide open if he passed it back out to Groves for a three. He's got the hot hand right now. Seventh in the state in three-point shooting. Okay. He's got one more year, too. He's a junior, huh? Wow. wow. There we go. Daisy from downtown. A tie game here, Bruce. Well, you see four of the five uh, Red Knights have scored so far early on in this game. Nice pass inside. Oh. But again, Wooly's just not able to get that shot to go. But, I tell uh, you, he had a lot of great looks, a lot of great touches there, just not going in the hoop. Well, that's a big foul for the Red Knights because that's going to be number two on Wilson, I believe. Great intense in the first five minutes here. There's a basket for Woolley. Chavez in the game. Milton Nuon in the game for the Red Knights. You get into these big games, Tommy, and those free throws become so important. And so many times, teams that hit the higher free throw percentage, you'll see that makes a big difference at the end of the game. Oh, it's yeah. huge. Especially in an intense game like this right now. It's going to be a marathon for both these teams. You can feel with the crowd, the gymnasium just getting hotter. The temperature's going out. Tata. Now Kata, and he's gonna call a block. Could've gone either way, baby. And either way, yep. Riley Nelson didn't call for the foul. Nelson's asking for water, he has been hustling. He's been all over the court. He sacrificed the body there, it was close. There you go. Coach Wohler did not like the call, you can see him on the sidelines. Getting an explanation. We use case. There we go. Two for two for the line there. 14 14, Bruce. Here we go. Whoops. <laughs> Look what I got. Through the pass, he wasn't looking. Great defense there by Lumpkins. He's on Groves like a gnat right yeah, now. Yeah, and that's going to be the key to just not give Groves any space oh. there. No one <laughs> wanted to get on the, the ball. floor. And they're going to call this one uh, Red Knights basketball. And four Red Knights there had uh, an opportunity to get that ball, but no one's getting on the floor. Spartans finally did, but they get yeah, the Red Knights got a timeout. Well, so far, everything we could have expected in this kind oh. of game. Great game so far, 14-14, seven minutes in. Number of games happening tonight in uh, Section 3A, between tonight and tomorrow, uh, in Section 1-3A, it's Stewartville versus Byron. Section 2-3A, it's uh, Mankato East versus New Ulm. 3-3A is uh, Minneapolis South versus St. Thomas Academy. 4-3A is De La Salle against Columbia Heights. 5-3 is uh, top team Latino Grace playing against Fridley. Uh, we have in the 7-3A, it's Hermantown against Chicago Lakes and 8-triple-A Alexandria versus St. Cloud Tech. I like it. Hermantown coming down with their basketball team. I like it. Yeah, we see them in Not hockey. just a hockey right. school. Right. A great defense on both sides. He doesn't know about the shot clock. Uh, would have been a shot clock violation. Yeah. Two on one break. And, and the a dunk clutch. is good. 
Donnelly just getting his hands up to the top of the rim. Just barely. And Nelson, I don't think, knew the shot clock there. He was just dribbling around. That was pretty, pretty quick on the other end by Knutson. Knotted up at 16. Nice drive to the lane. Daisy in the foul. Great strong take by Daisy. It was called on Chavez. It is, it's his first. Three team fouls for the Red Knights, two for the Spartans. Two. Great free throw shooting so far by the Red Knights. Yeah, they're four for four in the game. Daisy all over Gross. Yeah. Love Gross it. takes it oh, down the lane. It. He's got an opening, a oh. little too strong. Great Orno take, with though. another chance, but losing the ball that time was Knutson. Red Knights with a two point lead. Donnelly. He Rose thought about the, the three. Went for the two. Yep. Chavez in the corner, out of bounds. There's the section final nerves right there, Bruce. Yeah, another right turnover. Through his hand. Can't afford the turnovers in these games, especially when you're the underdog. So. He's trying to blame the passer, but I think that was just right off the receiver's hand, the number one's hand. One thing that the Spartans have done really well in this game is not allowed Lee to use his speed and to his advantage and Lee missing the shot there, but uh, he's been such a speedster in a lot of these games. They, he can really make a difference when he can drive to the basket with his speed. Well, he wants it. Oh, great take, foul there. And again, I think if you're Orno, you want to probably take it more to the hoop. You've got you know, Wilson with two fouls, and if you can get the big guys for Benilde into foul trouble, it gives you those opportunities. Yes, Wooley at 6'9", there. You should take it in until they can stop him. Take it in there. So you got to get some of those free throws to drop, though. Well, the first miss free throw we've seen in this game. He's got to get his cookies. <laughs> Couch back into the game for the Spartans. Another one and out. 0 for 2 there. Red Knights up the court, leading by 2. Back at 17 in the corner, is a 3. Love kids from downtown. Great dish, great dish out to Lovkin. Set, ready to hit that three. Great defense on Daisy there. Yeah, it was. Spartans He's an athletic were fortunate man. to get the ball. Nice pass inside Groves. He's got that one. Good bounce pass inside to him. He plays bigger than 6'4. I mean, he's right down there on the post and he's making shots. Daisy, rebound by the Spartans. Drilling by three in the corner, Groves, he hit! Oh. He's heating up, he is feeling it. 12 points so far for Groves, and we're knotted up at 21. Kata. This is Donnelly. He has a flop. Here comes the Spartans into the front court. Good pass inside, but... Great hands by Lumpkins. Uh, Groves with the chance. Tipped out of bounds. 
Spartans ball. Lovell's got some good hustle, hustle minutes in here right now. Willie's saying, well, what do I need to do to get that ball to go in? And then we get a timeout. Quite the, quite the block there by Mitchell. Oh, no, Spartans there, geez. He has something to say about that. Tommy, the four, uh, the four A, you've had uh, one game played so far. Wyzetta beat Hopkins, and I'd say Wyzetta will be the number one seed in the entire state tournament. But we have Lakeville North going against Farmington, Minnetonka against Shakopee. That'll be a really good game. Egan against Eastview, Creighton Durham Hall versus Tartan, Park Center, Maple Grove. That's another really good game. Uh, Forest Lake versus Coon Rapids, and uh, Rogers against St. Michael's Elberville. No gimmies here. No gimmies. All well, tough games. And you look at the Red Knights this year. The losses have come against some of the top-ranked teams. You know, they lost to Park Center, Minnetonka, De La Salle, Totino Grace, Hopkins, and then a couple uh, out-of-state out of teams, Homestead and Smartville. So um, so when you look at, at that schedule, they've really been tested, and uh, they didn't win a lot of those games. It probably helped them to win a lot of the other games, and... and uh, Playing those tough schedules makes some of those other games a little bit easier for you. Yeah, I respect that with Coach Johnson. He doesn't, he doesn't schedule any easy games for his non-conference games. So Nelson will inbound the ball here with 5.23 to go in the first half. Back to the give and go. Nelson misses a shot. Good rebound by Wilson is back in the game. Great tower rebound there. So the key now is for uh, the Red Knights to keep Wilson out of foul trouble. They don't want him to get that third foul here in the first half. Now he's key to their success, that's for sure. Donnelly spin in the corner for Lee. Lee takes it down the lane, he's fouled. move on the baseline. Oh, Wilson Great get take. it to go, yeah. short. This is Groves. Great ball movement by the Spartans, but just out of bounds there. Oh. Yeah, Groves was standing on the on the sideline and he just had his foot straddling the line and he knew it when he caught that. I think he wanted one more second to just get into a position. Mm -hmm. You see that a lot in the NBA, too. Players uh, getting that pass from, on the sideline or corner, and they just have their foot on that line. Mm -hmm. Tata, a little too strong. Oh, Follow up by Wilson is good. Great pass to Wilson off the backboard there. <laughs> Wasn't planned, but geez, that looked great. He could have got an and one there possibly as well. Back to a two-point lead for the Red Knights. The refs are letting them play. I like it. They understand it's a section game, and they're letting them play. That was blocked. Spartans getting a second chance opportunity. I think he got a piece of that. Thing. I think Daisy got a piece of that. Well, he they're said no. They're calling it an air ball. That was couch. Seeing a little frustration sometimes for... Orno here as the players are coming up, um, back to the bench. Mm -hmm. They've had a lot of great looks, just not going down. That is a powerful take by Daisy, huh? It really was, and, and uh, actually a good foul to take uh, if you're the Spartans. So. Daisy was two for two, now he's uh, misses that one. Red Knights by three, 24, 21, 338 to go here in the first half.
Quick double on Groves there. They're not going to have any easy shots now. Inside, nice play. Oh, that was blocked. Follow up was good. What a. It was a great block, but then a great job by Couch. Couch stuck in the play there. That was a great follow of the shot. They thought they had the block and the turnover, and they had a nice little bunny. Turnover for the Red Knights. So important how it, the teams end this half because that gives you all that momentum in the locker room going into the second half. Most definitely. That's a great steal there, great poke. Wilson, he tripped up, they're gonna call a foul. And Coach Wohler is, has his arms up in the air, he is livid by that. But you can see the that number 11 that was hurt did cut in front of him to impede the play. Wilson. Oh no. This guy Wilson with uh -oh. his third. On a charge. Yeah, that's something the Red Knights could not afford to happen. Tough play there. Could have gone either way, I think, again on that one. So Lee comes back into the game. Chance to take the lead now for the Spartans. 2.34 to go here in the first half. This is the section six, 3A final game. Three pointer, too strong, but tipped by the Red Knights, so the Spartans ball. Hurt was wide open. Hurt only averages uh, one and a half points per game, so it doesn't get too many points, but he does all the other things, what I've heard. He's gonna get another oh. Knudsen. Knudsen for three. And the Spartans crowd is up. They lead by two. Drive to the Daisy basket by Daisy. Right. That's a tough doesn't hard get it drive. to go. Here's Groves. Spin move, there's good defense. Oh. Rose couldn't get it to go, and the save by Donley. Donley did a great job on that play. Yes. Here comes Lee, we said it, he has the speed. There he goes, and one. And one, there we go. That's the speed you were talking about earlier, Bruce. Nice lane right to the rim, nice finish. Big swing and a great defensive play by Donnelly led to Lee with uh, having that opportunity. Chance to give the Red Knights the lead here. There you go. He wants his cookies. Great three-point play there by Lee. Outside for a three. Money. Groves is on fire. You can't give that guy an inch. That's what they're going to need. Daisy. Off the mark. Groves loses the basketball. Good job by Daisy to get it back. Here's a three. And it's good. Kata with the three. Got a shooting spectacle going on here. Under a minute. Back and forth we go. Groves wants it. Taking it to the basket. They're Again. letting them play. They are letting them play. Yeah, Willie didn't get the call. Lee. Lee on the oh. other end, and they let that one go. And now we get a foul on the Red Knights. That's going to be only foul six. So neither team is in the bonus. They will be on the next foul. One point game here, 40 seconds. What a great first half so far. Chavez comes in, hurt out. Still 
35 seconds on the shot clock, 41 in the game clock, so they can't run it down all the way. Yeah, Lee picking him up full court. Knudsen throws, nice pass. And That's charging a called. Great play by Lumpkins there. Way to sacrifice the body. I tell you, he's a little spark plug when he comes in. That didn't go over. <laughs> Here's a look at it again, but. Uh, Coach Wooler not happy on that call again. He's been sacrificing his body all night, Lumpkins. Now the Red Knights can hold for the final shot. And they will. Maybe. There goes Donnelly in the lane. Oh, look at Lee, and he gets it. Still 10 seconds. That was beautiful. Five seconds. Don't foul. And that shot was tipped. Put back by Groves, oh. not good. Groves almost had a little jump shot there. Sort of a wild oh, ending whew. to that. <laughs> what a great first half, three point game here. That time, that's uh, sort of everything we, we expected in this game, so. Thirty-two twenty-nine, the score, and uh, we're at halftime. So Bruce Holman, along with Tom Sullivan, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with the second half shortly. Stay with us. Serving in Afghanistan, I was hit by sniper fire, and I was given a five percent chance to live. It's a good thing math wasn't my best subject. Today, I visit classrooms and share my story. I tell kids that with a little help and a lot of work, that you can overcome any challenge. DAV helps veterans like Adam get the benefits they've earned. They help more than a million veterans every year. My victory is being there for the next generation. Support more victories for veterans. Go to DAV.org. Back from Haven Center, Bruce Holman along with Tom Sullivan. 32-29, the Red Knights lead as we get ready for the second half. Scoring in the first half for the Red Knights is Daisy and Wilson with six points. Ron Lee and Jaleel Donnelly had five, and Kata had four. And Xavier Lumpkin hit the one three, he has three. Leading scorer for the Spartans, Nolan Groves with 15 points. Knutson and Nelson each have five, and Couch and Woolley with two. Yeah, watch for Woolley. If he starts heating up this second half, he's had a lot of great looks down low. Yeah, he only has two points in the game. He averages 14, but he's had a lot of ones just right off the rim. Yeah. In and out. And off some the blocks, rim. too. Yeah. Some good contact down low. I do like it. The refs, I feel, are calling a very good game. Letting them both play. Red Knights start off with the basketball, leading by three. Daisy, Lee, Donnelly, Kata, and Wilson on the floor for the Red Knights. Woolley, Nelson, Groves, Hurt, and Couch for the Spartans. Clock at 11, turn around, short. Great defensive play there by Groves, good contest. Bullhouse crowd here from Haven Center. Got the student section all standing around us. Nice cut to the basket, but getting under too far that time was Knudsen. It was Hertz. Or Hertz number or Hertz. 11. He or got Hertz, a little yeah. too excited there and hit the bottom of the bottom of the backboard. Yeah, yeah, nice cut. Looked like maybe Woolley was going to try and take the shot, but instead passed to the player. There's Groves for the three off the backboard. And the up. bank is open. Quite the bank shot. He's still feeling it. He's got over half their points now. Now, I know Anthony Edwards works on that shot, but, but he does it unintentional. <laughs> Foul called on the Spartans.
First team foul of the half for the Spartans. Inside, Daisy had it batted away from behind. Nice play by Couch. Great block. Couch gets it now. Oh, oh, oh. a little up and under for Couch. Well, I, I didn't think he was going to get that one up, and he did what an amazing job. He was he feeling did. it. He sprinted down the court for that. Good start for the Spartans. Off the iron, but losing the rebound that time was number 11, Hurt. And now we're going to get a jump ball. It's a great hustle by Lee. Lee and Nelson battling for that ball. Nelson's a gritty player. They both teams quick to get to loose balls. Yeah, both teams very disciplined. This is Daisy from outside, off the front of Iron. Couch, cross court. In the corner, the three, that's a little long. Lee, cuts to the basket. Back on the other end. Uh, he's gonna get yeah, the wall. Well, he finally got the wall there. Willie's he first basket that. from the field. He deserved that. And it almost came out. <laughs> it did, it tried. Now we'll see if the Red Knights can answer. The biggest lead, I think, for the Spartans at four. Inside, Jalen Wilson. Wilson, wow, what a shot. It almost seems like every shot is being contested, Tommy, but they're still able to still get those shots off. I agree, and great, great shot selection by both teams. And they're all taking the best shot available in each uh, offensive possession, and they're very disciplined. Staying to their game plans, it looks like. Well, and you, you're seeing timeouts early on, and I think coaches want to really just make sure that you get, get your players all on the same page, uh, get a little breather, get some water, and, and uh, again, these teams don't go too deep off the bench, so as, as this game in this warm gymnasium goes on, it's going to be, these players are going to start tiring, and, uh, and so the coach is trying to keep these players fresh. Uh, the temperature's got to be up about 20 degrees when it first started. It does. Full court pressure here. Nelson guarded by Lee. Gets it into the front court. Almost stolen by Kata. Clock at 19. Groves. And we're going to reach him, Paul. That is just so tough to guard. It's going to be on Kata. Second foul of the game for Kata. I don't think Groves has taken a breather the whole game. He's been in all game. Daisy guarding Groves. Wooley down the lane. And you, you see Wilson had to back off. Oh. And flushed it down. There we go, Wooly. Great play by Wooly, but again, we have Wilson with three fouls. He had to back he off of the play off. to give Wooly the opportunity there. And that's going to make a difference for defensively for the Red Knights right now. Yeah, the Spartans and I think if you're the Spartans, you got to keep going back to the Wooly. Ten seconds, Cole. Ten seconds. And there, right now, I think what Wooler is saying is that Johnson was on the court, should be a technical foul, and uh, he, he was signaling 10 seconds. He walked on the court to give the 10 second call. And Wohler's I don't think he could do that happy. as a coach. Now the ref was over there pretty quickly to make sure that Wooler stayed back in his side. He wasn't going to have it. So they'll play on here. Four-point game. Oh, 
Here's Kata, guarded by Groves. Gives it off for Donnelly. Donnelly's been a little quiet lately. Wilson to the basket, hook shot. Defended by Woolley. Again, you have that uh, six foot nine guy, you gotta get it over. Groves! Groves! Biggest lead of the game for the Spartans, 41-34. Inside pass. Groves Woolley. again. Groves again. Woolley loses, loses the ball. It. And it's going to be Red Knight's ball. The Red Knights are a team that can score in a hurry, but they've got to be they've got to be a little patient here, and they can't uh, can't get too uh, too crazy being down. It's big game. You know, nice pass inside. Nice movement. And that's what I'm saying. There we go. There don't, we you go. You don't have to take it right to the basket. Find the open player. They did. And Ron Find the Lee. best shot. Groves taking it hard. I tell you. Yeah. He's hard. a talented kid. Hard to stop that is a player hard like to that. Stop. That is tough defense on Groves as well. I mean, they're sticking on him. Those aren't any easy shots he's getting. I like that the Red Knights push the ball up with, and Donnelly will go to the line. Both teams well conditioned. And they are going hard and to your earlier point, Bruce, not many subs on either side. We got some subs coming in right now though. Free throws, Bruce. Throw you need those free throws. Willie with the rebound. Six point game. Spartans with the ball. To your earlier point, you got to feed Willie down low. Especially if Jalen's on him. Unless you get Groves. Groves. Oh, uh, just hit enough. But Willie to finish. Yeah, Willie only had two free throws in the first half. He's got six points here in the second half. Donnelly can't get that one to go. Nice job by Groves. Coming in on the basket. And oh, what an athletic play defense. by Daisy. Yeah, Blocks Daisy it and then saved it. Kata and the foul and frustration on the Spartans. Yeah, Coach Roller's not happy with that call. There's a replay. Watch what a great job by Woolley as he gets up so high. Tension mounting here at Haven Center. Wonderful atmosphere, some high school basketball. This is awesome. Another missed free throw by the Red Knights. They missed three so far in the game. Those are crucial, you need to get your cookies. There you go. The Spartans lead at seven. The Red Knights winning the first two contests by around 20 points each game. There's that match that we were talking about. Foul beyond Donnelly. The Spartans had that match up there with Woolley and uh, Wilson. Twelve oh seven remaining regulation time. Seven point Spartan lead. Red Knights led by three in the first half. And the basket Nelson. is good by Nelson. That's gritty Nelson right there. That was a nice hard take. He earned those two points. And again, some of those could have been different if Wilson was not Ooh. in foul trouble. Correct. He's, being, he's playing carefully right now. Back to the free throw line now, Bruce. 
Yeah, Ron Lee to the free throw line. He's got seven points in the game, one for one from the line. Another miss. Spartan fans let him hear it. 0 for 1, they're <laughs> chanting. 0 for 1. There we go. He quieted him now. 1 for 2. 1, one for 2. <laughs> Here comes the Spartans into the front court. What a great pick. Yeah. Again, the Red Knights having their hands in the cookie jar. Yeah, we got to be careful here, Bruce. We're in the Orono student section, so we got to be. <laughs> Here's Groves. Wooly working Wilson. Looks for Groves to make a cut to the basket. Groves penetrates down the lane. Oh, just look at that. He it. follows his own shot. What a great take. He's carrying his team right now. He is carrying his team. Five threes and five twos in the game. Great 25. Them. That was a great take as well. Well, the Red Knights being aggressive, take it to the basket, drawing the fouls, so. I love it. seeing that with Groves, where he put up the shot, put up the layup, missed it, followed his shot, and that's just pure hustle right there. That extra effort. He knows the importance of every single point right now, every single possession. Donnelly, one for two from the free throw line. There we go. Wilson out, Kata in. Big guy taking it up. Here's Gross. Eight point lead. Good feed to Woolley down there. Woolley. Working it. Turns around to his left and draws the foul. Kata picks up his third foul. Woolley steering it. Getting some energy from the fans over here. Momentum in the Spartans' favor right now. 10 point lead here. He had a lot of points coming from inside the paint. They're going to bring Couch back into the game. Riley Nelson will take a seat on the bench. Eleven points in the game for Willie. Rolly's feeling it this half. Yeah, nine points in the second half, Donnie. Barton's crowd yelling defense. Maybe not quite that word, but something to the effect with Lee takes it in. Can't get it to go. Here comes Gross, and will be fouled by Kata if you want to know. Do they call it on Kata? It's going to be Kata. number four. Number four. Oh. This is not going the way Coach Johnson wants it to go. They're keeping Kata in with four. Oh, now we got Jalen Wilson. Looks like he's going to come in now. Give him a breather. This is the matchup we want, that Wooly wants right here against Wilson. Really, the Red Knights just don't have a deep bench to uh, be able to put in another big guy to stop Wooly. Three a little long. Wooly keeps it alive. Wooly, nice tip back. Groves. Hey, here's Groves. He's long. You don't see that often. A miss by Groves. Yeah, Chavez tried to bank it off the player. Here's Donnelly on the other end. He draws the foul. Good hard take. 
seeing a few more fouls here in the second half. A lot of free throw opportunities for the Red Knights. Yeah, and that's number six on Orono, so we could see the Red Knights in the bonus quite early out here. There you go. Donnelly four for five from the free throw line. Good tip by Woolley. 10 point lead for the Spartans. Here's Groves. Almost stolen. Woolley catches it from behind. Oh, Lucky to get a travel call and a great and concentration. Very close. Yeah, yeah. Another Donnelly foul. Donnelly draws the foul and he'll go to the line. We're in bonus now, Bruce. Red Knights are in bonus with 9.30 remaining. Yeah, they are. Free throws are going to be a big part of this game. And the Red Knights are going to need to hit a higher percentage than they've hit so far in this game. Donnelly, normally a very good free throw shooter, is three for six so far in this game. The other thing is the Red Knights have to have an answer for Woolley. It's been the Woolley and Grove show in this pass. You got both bigs for Benil with three and four foul. That's, that's, that's difficult with 9.30 remaining. Yeah, you know, and Jalil missing both free throws. Nelson for three. In and out. A quick break. Daisy foul. Back to the free throw line. That's on Groves. Good hard takes by Benil to the to the basket here, getting to the free throw line. He's got they guess gotta make some of those free throws now. There you go. Daisy's one for one now. Daisy now four for five from the line. Pair of free throws for the Red Knights makes it to a ten point game. And this is where the shot clock will help. In some of the games in previous years, you could just delay and uh, take time off the clock. But uh, team behind will have a better opportunity to get back in the game because we do have the shot clock in play this year. And that's a great addition to high school basketball. I like the shot clock. Remember a couple uh, section games where teams ran off five, six minutes off the clock. Just playing the keep away game. Groves again, I tell you. 27, I think, for Groves. I got my numbers right. Pretty versatile guard there, Groves. Yeah, you can make the three and you can bang down low. Daisy. Good rebound by Wilson. Kept, kept it alive and was able to make that. That's a big basket, too, for the Red Knights. Oh, well, look at the follow up. Great strong take by yeah, Woolley. Really. Good rebound by Daisy. Here's Wilson. Loses the basketball, gets it off, and put in. Here we go, a little run by the Red Knights here. That was Nuance's first points of the game. Almost. Inside of Woolley. Nuance tried to pass the ball away, but good 
strong effort by Woolley. Fifty-eight, forty-eight. Here's a three. Not good by Lee. Woolley with the rebound. Spartans in the front court, leading by ten. Seven oh seven remaining in regulation. Groves to the baseline, looks for Woolley, has him. Woolley with the finish. That's quite the connection there. Groves to Woolley. Oh, the Spartans are feeling it. The well, bench just ran Woolley. off. They just have, don't have an answer for Woolley and Groves right now in the second half. I venture to say, and I, if I'm right, that Woolley and Groves have all the points for the Spartans here in the second half. That sounds right to me. And they are a dynamic duo, the two of them. Again, yeah, we mentioned the Red Knights winning 14 of their last 16 games. Spartans 6-7 as we take a look at the section and uh, how the Red Knights and Orono got here. Again, Orono beating Cooper and Delano. And for Benilde St. Margaret's, they had wins over Kennedy and Richfield. Winner of this game will represent Section 6-3A in the state tournament. And it's an uphill battle for the Red Knights right now. They trail 60-48. I think we've seen the Red Knights with some long outside shots, like quick ones. I think they're going to have to just work the ball around and get higher percentage shots here. And make some of those free throws. And they're getting out. to the rim, but they just got to make the free throws now. You're right. I mean, what they're doing is they're extending the game a little bit, and uh, if they make the free throws, no, no time goes off the clock, so they extend this game and, uh, and score while the clock is stopped, and that's important. And the next foul for Orno will put the Red Knights in double bonus with 6.42 here. Six for seven from the free throw line for Daisy. Daisy now hitting five in a row from the free throw line. Ten point game, still plenty of time left for 6.38 to go. See what the Red Knights still have in their tank. A lot of these guys have played a lot of minutes. Looking for Woolley down low. That ball was deflected. Rebound by Wilson. Here comes Lee on a fast break and we're gonna get a foul. Another foul. That yeah, called on Hurt. Double bonus and back to the free throw line. Clock is stopped. 6-16. Hertz disagreed with that foul, but that was looked like a pretty, pretty tough foul there. Tommy, I was doing these games long enough. When these games got extended, they had to put in a, another three-quarter inch tape into the uh, tape that they had to take a break. <laughs> I don't know how the times have changed, huh? Pair of misses by Lee. You know, can't afford the free throw misses. No. You need some defensive stances there. Great play by Daisy. Daisy takes it all the way to the basket, misses. Follow up is good by Donley. That was a great hustle that play there by Donley. Down to eight is the lead for the Spartans. Great hustle and effort Almost by both teams away. here. They're leaving it all in the court tonight. Lumpkin playing good defense. Here's a three. That's long. Rebound by Lee. They can cut it to six. Donnelly in the lane. Out for a three. Lumpkin just misses a shot. Here comes uh, Groves. And he's fouled by Donnelly. Good hard take by Groves to the rack there. 
Big swing there. Could have been a five-point game. Now Spartans have a chance to make it a 10-point game. First free throw of the game for Groves. Wow. Of course, he's only attempted one. He doesn't, he hasn't missed, so. Twenty-eight points, huh? Twenty-eight points for Groves. Twenty-nine. Back to ten. Five eighteen to go. Donnelly gets the screen, takes it to the basket. Tough shot by Tough Donnelly, shot. kept alive by Wilson. Here's Daisy from the free throw line. He's short. Great contest by Knutson there at Daisy. All right, the Red Knights came up empty-handed. That time, Grove stops pump. Rebound taken down by Donnelly. In the front court, here's Lee looking for a spot. Nice spin move by Lee. Back out for three. Up short, Wilson under the basket. Has it. Lead at eight. Under five, four minutes, 25 seconds to go. And we'll get a timeout by Coach Ruler. <laughs> Great game. It really is. Both teams playing hard. Very well matched. Okay, the Red Knights have been going hard to the hoop. If they could just get those free throws to go down. I mean, they've, they've got 10 fouls on the uh, Spartans. They're stopping the clock. They just need to com complete those free throws. Yeah, they've left uh, eight free throws uh, off the board. So uh, eight free throws, eight points, and that uh, it's a tie game. A tie game. Not that they're going to hit 100%, but mm -hmm. they don't have the Tommy touch. <laughs> <laughs> now they got to get their cookies in the cookie jar. You got to get your cookies when at the free throw line. Nolan Groves, we mentioned, 20th in the state in scoring, 26.9 points per game, 7th in the state in points, 753 total points mm. coming into this game. So. He's a fun player to watch. He really is, and uh, they're pretty lucky to have him back next year. Yes. Well, we just had a hot dog thrown at us, Bruce. <laughs> Here's Rose. That the Spartans do coming out of their timeout here. Taking a little time off the clock. Down to seven. Behind the back. Good pass. Underneath. They couldn't get it to go. That was Nelson. Under four minutes. Here's Donnelly. Very strong take by Donnelly. Nice little finger roll there. And the lead at six, Tom. Red Knights are feeling some life here. Student section's rolling. Here's Groves. Oh. That silence is the student section. Groves like stops the streak. He's, he's got that knack to end a streak. Donnelly. Out of contact Wilson. down low. No. Nope. Underneath Kata out of the clock. They are letting them play, Bruce. There's a lot of contact down low there. Yeah, Woolley doing a great job coming from behind. And Nelson manning up against Wilson there. Yeah. 64-56, 3.15 to go. Here's Donnelly. Inside, Wilson. And Basket, one. And one. They are just banging down low. Good composure there by Wilson. So the Red Knights have a chance to inch back to within five. A 
nice three point big free play. Throw. It's the closest the Red Knights have been in quite some time. Here's Picking Rose. Him up full court. Guarded by Lee. Tip by Daisy. Nelson looking inside. Nice double up there by That's Daisy. Knutson. In the corner, here's a three. Off the mark. Here's a break. This is Wilson. Puts it down. That's a three-point game. That woke up the Red Knights. The Red Knights are woken up. The Spartan defense. fans are a little quiet right now. Yeah, Red Knights coming up big with some defense here. Grove, spin move. Boy, the silencer right again. The silencer again. What a play by Nelson Grove. Still a five-point game now. Two minutes, ten seconds to go. Daisy. Wilson. Wilson, nice finish. 66, 63, we're under two minutes. Game on the line and a timeout. No, foul on number no, three. Foul. Foul on Lee. Six foul, but we will get a timeout. There we go. Woo. <laughs> I tell you, what a great second half here. Yeah, the Red Knights getting a little bit of momentum here over the last couple minutes. And then Groves always has the answer on the other side. Just when they think they got a little run going, Groves gets crafty. The other thing we have going right now, Tommy, is that uh, Wilson never picked up his fourth foul. So right now, with two minutes to go, he can play tough defense. If he has to take the foul, take a foul, he's not going to foul out. So uh, he couldn't afford to do that early on in the second half, but now it gives him a little more leeway to play defense against uh, Woley. Correct. He's been playing very smart basketball the second half. Great uh, shot selections by Wilson. Great flush there on that slam that got everyone up, up and cheering. The BSM nope. fans are, here, are loving around. They're jumping around, chanting BSM. Yeah, you got there. You got the student section back involved on the Benil sidelines. And now the Orono sideline is pretty quiet over here. Yeah. We're right in between both of them. <laughs> Three-point game. Spartans lead. They have the basketball as we get started here. It's going to be Riley Nelson guarded by Casey in the front court. Knutson. Great Top D by defense, Daisy. Almost a five second. In the corner, and foul is going to be called on the Red Knights, Daisy. So now we'll see if uh, Spartans can hit their free throws. There you go, bonus. They now. are in the bonus. Lucas Knutson, the junior guard, will go to the line. He's got five points in the game. In and out. In and out. Here we go. Red Knights with a chance to tie on a three. Taking it to the basket as Wilson doesn't go. Battle for the ball. And Groves comes Groves away with comes the ball. Oh, he gave it up, though. Stolen away by the Red Knights. Kata to the basket. Foul on the ground, it looks like. Foul on Groves. I tell you, great, great effort by Groves there. Looks like either his outlet pass got deflected or just a soft pass and great reaction by the Red Knights Tough there. Call. Kata makes it a two-point game. Sold out crowd is getting his money worse tonight. This has been an uphill battle in the second half for the Red Knights. They've cut it to one point. One point game.
Barton's trail, lead by one. This is Groves. And you bet he wants the ball. A little long foul. I think it's on Kata. No, it's on five. Oh, call it on Dodley. Call it on Dodley. But the guy the Red Knights don't want to have the ball here. Oh. A rare miss for That's Groves. That's a very rare miss for Groves there. Right now, can't hear anything out of our headsets, Tommy, so just uh, Tommy and I can't hear each other. <laughs> Chance to tie the game or take the lead. We're down a minute. Donnelly. This is Wilson. Daisy to the basket. Ooh, a lot of contact, no call. Shot clock at 32 seconds. And we'll get a timeout by Coach Wooler. Good hard take by Daisy to the rim there. Well, the Red Knights had a good shot down on the other end to tie the game, just didn't go. And now we'll see if they can stop the Spartans. Again, with uh, 26 seconds on the shot clock, they can either foul and hope they miss the front end of the one and one, or they just let it play down 26 seconds and they get the ball back with 22 seconds. And if you're uh, Coach Wooler, you're going to say, it's got to be Groves or Woolley here. And, get uh, the ball in Groves' and That's got to be the Red Knights' defensive strategy is how do we stop those two guys. That's too many people sitting down right now, Bruce. Yeah, they're trying to keep the fans off the court at the end of the game as we got a... Seen a lot of uh, things happening this year in college basketball with some injuries. So. <laughs> 43 seconds. Here we go. 67 65. Winner of this game advances to the state tournament. Almost oh. a steal. Jalen almost job, had a piece of that. Yeah, good job. To your buddy. earlier point there, Bruce, playing aggressive now, going after that ball. He knows what's on the line right now. Only one timeout left for the Spartans, too. This is Grove, guarded by Lee. Grove spins down the baseline. Travel. Pretty close Spends to a travel, travel there. there. Down to nine seconds. There's Nelson. Groves. There he travel. Goes. Nelson and Groves ran into each other, caused the travel. Now we'll see if the Red Knights call a timeout here to set something up. 20 seconds down by two. They're not going to take a timeout at this point. Got Donnelly with the ball. 17 seconds. Oh, it's stolen away. And timeout. Last timeout called by the Spartans. So now the Red Knights are going to have to foul if the Spartans get it in. And again, the question becomes should Johnson have called the timeout? set up a play. Yeah, Fidel thought they had a foul there. Uh, Jalen got pushed there at the elbow, but the way the rest have been calling it tonight, they've been letting, you know, letting things go a little bit here. I like the leadership by Groves. Groves saw his whole bench come running out to the court. He told them all to get back, all to get back. He didn't want to get any technicals for everyone getting off the bench. And Tom, the Spartans are out of timeout, so they have to get the ball in. And, and this Red Knights team is a scrappy team. They're going to try and stop them from inbounding the ball. But you can bet 
Groves is the player that they're going to try and get the ball into. Most definitely. And we'll see if Lee is on Groves here. Yeah, foul him. And there's a foul. Foul on uh, Knudsen. Knudsen going to the line here, one and one. Knudsen missed his only free throw attempt. Biggest free throws of Knudsen's career right here. Pretty much a chance to go to the state tournament if Knudsen makes both. And he takes the first. Lucas Knudsen to make it a four-point game, and he makes there it. He does. The Red Knights need to score quickly here and call a timeout. Orno is going to press. Here comes Wilson to the basket, makes it, and timeout. So now the Red Knights are going to have to either steal the basketball or foul right away. Two-point game, 3.3. Again, a lot of people are saying, why didn't they take the three? But I think the lane was open. You take the points. They need to come up with the defensive play here. And the fact that Orno has no timeouts helps them out a little bit. Correct. The Red Knights came all the way back, but haven't been able to get to that even mark here. And uh, credit to the Spartans so far. They just played played a great game. And uh, not over by any means, still 3.3 seconds. But we'll see what a couple strategies for Orono is. uh, If someone's not open, do they throw it into the front court so the Red Knights have to get a long shot off if they the basketball. Big defense right now. Here we go. 3.3. Underneath the basket. Here comes Groves. Right away. And a foul. About a second off the clock. So, yeah, second went off the clock, so it's 2.4. Still one and one as well. One more time out here for the Red Knights. Well, if Couch makes both of these, this game will probably will be over. Yeah. These are the free throws you practice outside in the backyard. You go to the state championship, two free throws, that's all we need. This is the free throw. Red Knights will have one chance here. I think what the Red Knights may do is try and throw it and call a timeout at half court. Three point game. Three point game. Uh, and the Red Knights will Knights. use their last timeout. Here's the problem, is what I see, Tommy. If you're Orono, you're saying, we might as well follow them. We're not gonna let them take a shot. There's 2.4 seconds left. If they're gonna get to the basket, let's follow the guy. If we get down to one second or half a second, make the foul, don't let them take the shot. Let them take two free throws Mm -hmm. um, if you have to. So in a three point game, You put them at the free throw line. As long as you don't give them that rebound, you pretty much have the game locked up. If you follow them early, then they advance to the free throw line and they make the first one and miss the second. And I'll be curious to see what they do right now. Red Knights got to go to full court right now. They have to go full court. You can't give them a three. No. Wilson, Donnelly's got the shot. It's he best. banked it in. Donnelly, he banked it in. The shot. He's got to get. Oh, they better get all these people back. We got a tight game. 
Incredible. Are they celebrating? They might, get, they might get a technical. They might get a technical here. Get back, boys. Oh, my gosh, boys. Incredible. A bank in to send it to OT. Can you believe this. it? That's where you don't give them the shot. <laughs> oh, my. What a great play. They ran it to Wilson in the middle. Donnelly. Wide open. open. Shot, but he banked it. Banks it right in. Boom. <laughs> His mom came out, gave him a big hug there. Wow. Well, we're getting our money's worth, that's for sure. Orono is wondering if they're going to get technical yeah, here. Yeah, they want. Orono right. wants a technical called on the Red Knights. So we're going into overtime. OT, here we go. Double bonus, both sides. No shot bigger in the game than Donnelly's three-pointer there. That was a confident shot the whole way. 16th point of the game. And the Red Knights with no They're time left on up. the clock. Now they got to keep the fans in line here. 70-70. Overtime, four High minutes school to sports. go. Doesn't get any better right here, folks. Daisy with authority throws that ball. And good oh, save by Wilson. Great hustle play. Here comes Donnelly. Donnelly to the He's basket. He's feeling it. Does it go, follow up, and a foul. Kate is going to the free throw line. The momentum has turned, and the Red Knights are fired up. Spartan fans are shocked right now. Data missing the front end. A little adrenaline going on there. The Red Knights have not led since the first their first Two lead. For the second half. Here we go. 71-70. Nelson. Up top is Wooly. I think they got to go back inside to Wooly. I was going to say, I'm surprised they didn't put Wooly down low. He's been getting the ball at the free throw line right at the elbow each time. Why the defensive pressure's picked up. Here's Wooly from three. outside. Short. Donnelly with the rebound. There we go. Here's Donnelly. Oh, no. Oh, charge. Charge. Moving, moving pick on uh, Jalen Wilson. He did give kind of a little bit of a hip swing there. That's a tough one. A little hip swing there, got him. One point, Red Knights lead. They're not going to give Groves any space here. Here's Groves. Two on him. Nelson. Don't let anyone else shoot for Groves right now. Out of bounds. That's Red Knight ball. Red Knight ball. Is that four fouls now on Wilson? Is he have four? I'm not keeping, I no. can't see. They're not posting him on the scoreboard, but I think you're right, Tommy. I think it could Maybe be. He's so. got his fourth right now. That's what Conley shot it last time. From the free throw line, puts it in. He's feeling it. Donnelly has come to life here in the second half. Biggest points of his career. Barnes need a basket badly. Foul on Lee. And that was off the ball on Groves. Just shows how they're trying to keep Groves out of the game. Both teams 
have their original starting lineup in the game. They played a lot of minutes here. Groves. Groves now has missed two free throws in the game. Groves has not sat one minute this whole game. I think, got to say that now Nolan's got to be a little tired because he's had really good defense, been double teamed a lot of this game. There he goes. Two point game. Donnelly to the basket, high, high off, off this. Kept alive, out of bounds, and it's oh. gonna be Spartan's ball. Looks like Lee just hit it right at the last second there. Confusion by both teams to see who that was off of. Who needs a state tournament when you have this kind of game? <laughs> exactly, this is wonderful. I don't know how you're wearing that sweater right now, Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to change shirts myself after this game. Over and back, over and back. Again, Donnelly with great defense. He fired up. The Red Knights team that's composed enough to climb up the hill, battle back. All the way to the last second shot by Donnelly. <laughs> game here. I don't know if they're wiping something up or giving all these kids a little breather though, which is nice. Something on the floor they'll clean up here. Mm -hmm. As the crowd is into this game. Donnelly, he's guarded by Hurt. Wilson, back to Donnelly. Good pass inside, Daisy. Kata, he can't get it to go. Stuck with it. <laughs> and the Spartans. Oh. Trailing by two, we got an injury, Kata. Three, missed. Oh, and I hate to see this. Kata going down, holding his leg. Hopefully it's a cramp. Doesn't look good. Hopefully it's a cramp, and not, I think it looks like a cramp. I'd say he's to your earlier point. Not many subs, not much water going on here. It's the, hope is that, the hope is it's a cramp. It's a cramp. Yeah. I think it's a cramp. The way he was, they were stretching it out. Hey, get that Gatorade in him, get that Powerade in him. Everyone's and loading up on water right now. Right, right. Well fought game here. I tell you, these kids are giving it their all. Another, another little break here for the uh, the players. Wiping down on the court. Right. A well-deserved break. They need to... You know, we see teams like Lakeville North, their coach has always had like 10 guys that he plays. And they play five on, sometimes five off. And when you get to these points, that helps them. Oh, yeah. But these guys have played a lot of minutes on both sides. And very well conditioned. I'm just impressed by how conditioned these kids are. Red Knights with the ball, two point lead. Shot clock at 18. Donnelly sets things up. Trying to open the lane. There's a three. Short by Daisy. Rompkins. That's a hustle go. play by Lee. And a jump ball. Jump ball. It's going to be Spartan ball. Spartans. 73-71, 102. Winner goes out of the state tournament. Groves will inbound the ball for the Spartans. Spartans have played an amazing game here. Trying to tie it up or take the lead. Groves has been quiet here in the second half. Oh, 
There's going to be another jump ball. Going to be Benil. Ball. Red Knight. Said Groves and now might Groves be hurt. Got to get up slowly. Groves is going to sleep all the night. That guy has been playing his heart out. He is leaving it all on the court, that's for sure. Under a minute, 41 seconds, 73, 71. Red Knights lead. Groves is limping, but there's no way he's coming out of this game right now. He's playing through. He's they can get the clock down to four seconds. They're going to have to foul the Red Knights. Whoa, tough, <laughs> dangerous pass there. Great athletic play by Daisy. Red Knights can hold it for. Daisy, he's going to put up the shot, short. Throws with the rebound, 12 seconds. Martin's with the ball. Throws wants Groves. it. He wants it. That leg's hurting him, though. You got to put it up, two seconds. Inside. Go only. That's the good. buzzer. We're going. <laughs> The second OT. <laughs> Brady Woolley with the basket at the oh, buzzer. Yeah, you knew Here it was going to go. Be, is it going to be Woolley or Groves? What a great dish by Nelson, huh? Oh, he made a great fake right to the at the right. buzzer. Well, I'll another tell you, overtime. Another Here OT. Go. But Tommy. You having fun? Oh, this Tom's is wonderful. First game. <laughs> first game, this is great. What a great game. Great atmosphere. Two very good teams. It's the way it should be. A lot this of is grit. the way a section final game should go. Amen. Hats off to Orono there. Getting, Getting the stop at one end, being able to score at the buzzer. That's what Benil did on the other end at the end of... Uh, Regulation time. And they didn't have a lead at all in overtime until the end there. They got the the tied up at the end. <laughs> I need a drink of water. <laughs> Another four minutes here. Here we go. <laughs> tied at 73 as we start the second overtime. Lumpkin nice gets the basketball. Hustle. Red Knights will start here in the second overtime. Cross court, Daisy, he's got the basket. Twelve points for Daisy. Daisy can jump out of the gym. Groves looking for the basketball. His three is good. Oh God. First lead in overtime for the Spartans. Nolan Groves in the 30s. Spartans lead. Here's Wilson. Back up top. Donnelly. Looks like the Spartans got a zone going on here. Yeah, the Spartans are fired up now. They're playing tough defense. Wilson for three. Oh, he answers. Jalen Wilson with the big three. And that's a two-point Red Knight lead. Spartans pass to Groves. And a uh, blocking, blocking foul. foul. Yeah, Groves is, his, Groves is cramping up. His calf is cramping up. And he does not want to leave, but he's cramping. Tough kid. Nolan Groves trying to stretch out a little bit. Good call on the Spartans. Had a little timeout, get everyone hydrated. Give Groves a second to get some water in them. Six threes in the game for Groves. 
38 points. 38 yeah. point for Groves, wow. Yeah, he's been impressive tonight. What a great game, 78, 76, second overtime. I mean, he has Lee all over him. And he's got a great first step on him, getting to the hoop there. In the second overtime, the kid hasn't taken a break. <laughs> and I would still think that we're seeing all the baskets coming from Wooley and uh, Gross. Correct. But the rest of the team is doing a great job defensively on the other end, mm -hmm. making Benilde have to work for every one of their points. And getting Wooley and uh, Groves open. I mean, they're doing a great job. It's great team basketball. And I'd say they've all been great shots by Wooley and Groves. They haven't been just you know throwing them up. They've been great, solid shots. Two big free throws here for Groves. Yeah, Nolan Groves chance to tie the game, 78-76. They trail by two, 243 to go in the second overtime. <laughs> for his 40th point here, Tom. Over half their points. So he stays at 39, one point game. And Donnelly. There's Daisy. Working the perimeter, now inside. A great look inside and a great finish by Wilson. Yeah, what a great job by Wilson. So patient down there. He waited, waited, a nice little pump fake. This is Wooley. To your earlier point, why don't they have Rolly on the block? Get Rolly on the block and feed him down low. Inside, Gross. He'll go to the line. They're doing a great job of feeding Wooley in the beginning of the second half and down low. And we haven't seen that much at all in the first two overtimes or the end of the second half there. You're not getting the ball to them down low. I don't hear anything you're saying, Tommy, but I know it's probably good, okay? <laughs> Groves missing two free throws in a row. Still trying to hit the 40 mark. And a chance to cut it to two. Uh-oh. We got a stoppage here. Try to confirm who the foul was on. Referees over at the scorer's table. <laughs> and Groves actually I think missed it. They got that. it all figured out. They got it figured out. Groves missed that second free throw, but it didn't count. There's 40. Two point game, 40 points for Groves. Grand Knights lead by two. Donnelly takes it in the lane. Tipped out of bounds. It stayed Red Knights ball. Awesome by Orono there. 142 remaining. Donnelly takes it in the lane. Passes out. Wilson passes on the three. Here's a three from the other corner, off the mark. And the Spartans with the rebound. Donnelly couldn't get that one to go. Nelson, good drive to the basket. And, and a foul. I tell you, that's the gritty play by Nelson. Hard take to the rim. Got a chance to put them up by one now. Now the Spartan side comes alive. Chance for them to take the lead here. <laughs> Pick up 
10 points of the game for Riley Nelson. Spartans lead by one. Donnelly takes it down the lane, passes off. Great Wilson. dish to Wilson. Great well, finish really, on Wilson. Really set up by Donnelly, driving, penetrating in the lane, and a good cut by Wilson. And three defenders came on Conley there, and a wide open Wilson for the layup. Under a minute. Wilson with the steal. There's a steal. Lee. Lee. Go. That's Lee's first points in a while. His job has been just to guard Groves. He's been on Groves nonstop. Down to 30 seconds, three-point game. Spartans with the ball. Nelson looks to the sideline for a play. Almost oh. stolen. Worley. Now Worley oh. draws the foul. Draws the foul. With 19.9 seconds left on, on the clock. He's on Lumpkin, not Wilson. Nineteen points of the game for Wooly. Very important free throws here. Ooh. In and out. In and out. A lot of noise. Second one out wow. as well. Lumpkins with a Wilson. big rebound. Big rebound by Lumpkins. Lumpkins. That was Lumpkin. He did a great job. And uh, that three point game here, 14 seconds. Red Knights with the basketball. So refs are perspiring. Everyone's having a lot. <laughs> Everyone's getting their money's worth tonight. That's for sure, Bruce. Oh, well, they sure have. And uh, right now, the Spartans, they're going to have to. Try and stop the inbound. Both teams have one timeout left, and if they can't stop the inbound, they're going to have to foul, and then it comes down to a free throw line for the Red Knights. What a back and forth game. A lot of emotion on both sides. Oh. One of the better basketball games I've seen in a while. It's for me as well. This has been a lot of fun. Second overtime. Section final. Again, the Red Knights have won both meetings this year against uh, Spartans, but Spartans looked like they had it. Red Knights had two seconds to go. Got the ball down the court at the end of regulation. Made a pass to Donnelly. Hit the three at the buzzer. And that kept the game going and got us to overtime. Then we had Wooly hitting a shot at the buzzer. The end of the first overtime. Oh, so fun. Remember Will we, we see a miracle game finish here kids. in the second overtime? We'll see. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Turnover. Oh, this is Grove. Short. Put back, not good. Wooly, oh. do we have a foul? Grove's almost got fouled there, too. I tell you, that was close. That's what the Red Knights could not afford to happen. They took no time off the clock and a chance now for uh, with still 6.9 seconds left. The Spartans could cut it to one. Now, has, how many points does 11 have here? Hurt, this is a, these are some big free throws for Hurt right now. Hurt has not scored in this game. There you go, kids. I noticed the Red Knights don't have Lumpkin and who got the big rebound before, but I think it's because they don't want, they got Players on the court who, if they get fouled, can make free throw. Right. One point game. And a foul. Big free throws here for Daisy. Big free throws. <laughs> 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 
What big free this throws awesome. by Hurt under Good. pressure. That was huge. First two points of the game, double overtime to get his team within one. What they've done here is put themselves in a situation where even if Daisy makes the free throws, they still have a chance to tie the game. That's some senior leadership right there by Hertz. Yes, it is. I tell sure you, is. two points, two very, very crucial points at the end of the game here. Jaden Daisy, seven for eight from the free throw line. 84-83, Red Knights by one. Daisy's first free throw, got good. They're gonna try to ice Daisy here. Timeout by the Spartans. Tommy, there we I'm gonna have to sit down here in a minute. <laughs> It could be heading to a third <laughs> overtime. That's the beauty about being in, in between the two student sections. You can't sit. These students have not sat the whole game. Well, the coaches have really had their work cut out for them. They're really coaching in this game. Mm -hmm. And uh, both coaches doing a great job. Damian Johnson and Barry Wooler. Their whole staff has really just done a great job keeping their teams in the game when things looked like they were one-sided at one point or another throughout the game. Agree. I'd say the fans have done a great job too. You got the student section, one aisle separating both student sections. We're right in between them and been very, very cordial to each other. There'll be a lot of kids going to class on Friday morning without a voice. <laughs> yes. The, the only assault we had is someone threw a hot dog at our table. <laughs> exactly. but, but besides that, everyone's been very cordial. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't directed at the students. That's right. They could have at least had the bun come with it. <laughs> exactly. I could use a little, could use a little extra dinner there. Jaden Daisy, senior guard. This is a free throw. Groves with the rebound. Great and hustle. Battle for the ball, two seconds. Here comes Grove. He's got a half court shot. It's oh! Grove. Oh! Grove. No way. Grove from downtown. Are you kidding me? What a. The oh crowd is going goodness. nuts. Oh, no my. Grove. Of course. And how fitting for that for Grove at the buzzer. What an impressive. Impressive, impressive player. There's your, there's your highlight reel. Woo! We should see if we get Nolan Groves up here. Look at that oh. half court. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The, I tell you. Now Groves is there any time left? I don't impressive. think so. Impressive. Boy, I tell you, that the was a shot great... that will be talked about for a long time, Tommy. Oh. Yes, it will. What a game. I tell you, that Groves had an impressive game. He carried that team on his shoulders the entire game. Between him Mother... and Wally. What a game. What a game. It was a game of last second shots in the regulation, in overtime, and now Groves with a big shot. Wow. What an environment in here, Bruce. You've got a lot of ecstatic fans and players. And Orono will go to state tournament. For the second time now. I tell you, what this a, is quite the battle between these two. Tommy, tough for either team to lose this game, but what a win for Orono. What a shot. I mean, what a what a game. Yeah. And you have to feel bad for the Red Knights who played their hearts out oh. and looked like they had the win. But in this game, there was not a win until the time went down to zero. Zero.
That's unbelievable. You know, and uh, Daisy, he missed that free throw, went in there. I thought it was going to be a jump ball down there. And yeah. it kind of tangled up, but Groves came out with it and just drilled a three. Wow. Tommy, I want to see if we could get Coach Wohler up here maybe. It's like... What a game. Yeah, I have to be a little stunned, and you can see that uh, Nolan Groves is getting a lot of hugs on the sideline. Lumpkin starting the handshake line. He went through there, he's shaking every, every Spartan's hand. Congratulations, good sportsmanship all around. Nolan Groves, Nolan Groves. Here, Nolan Groves chance, 43 points. Nothing bigger than the 43rd point in this game. Unbelievable. Nothing like coming into the section final game, having half of your team's points and Fun. winning it on the last second three. And he's only a junior, Bruce. Yeah, you know, hats off to both teams and feel bad for the Red Knights. They made some great things happen in this game and just tough to go out that way for the seniors on the Red Knights team. But those are the kind of games that uh, you see on ESPN at the end. That last second shot from half court, your best player. We had got three of them. <laughs> we had three last second shots in this game, Bruce. Unbelievable. Uh, Unbelievable. I us see if we can get Coach Wooler. Coach Wooler. Uh, Tommy, got, you want to see if he, you grab him? He's or? got his fans. Let's see if we get Coach. Uh, I don't think we're going to get him. Trying to get his team to the locker room. <laughs> He's celebrating. <laughs> and rightfully so. We're trying to stay out here to see if we can get Coach Wohler on the headset. He's going over to his sideline and going to do a lot of hugs. And the key right now is keep all these players safe. And exactly. they're going to have the awards ceremony. I'd say it's been pretty impressive so far. Students are behaving themselves. And we'll stay up for the section trophy. I tell you. Three buzzer beaters. Milton Nuon, number one, Jaden Daisy. He's a senior. Elliot Laka. Ronald Lee. They lead it a great job holding Groves in those overtimes. And the seniors on this team are Daisy, Laka, Lee, Punachar, Kesenich, and Lumpkin. That was Tanner Rose, Jaleel Donnelly. Fun seeing the next, the next generation of Spartan fans out there just loving it. They won't forget this. You know, it's it's not only winning, it's how you win. When you think you're at the edge of defeat and all of a sudden you pull it out with a shot like that, that's just, there's, there's no words to describe it. No, it's grit. Both teams had a lot of grit tonight, that's for sure. Guggenberger, Christian Johnson, Number 
Abu Kita. He's being helped up. He had some cramps there in the overtime. Tough one for Jalen Wilson. Demetrius Williams Jr. He's an eighth grader, Demetrius. He is. Kessinich. Thirty-three, Cam Best. Xavier Lumpkin. Connor Watts. Kobe Willis. Colin McGee. Javon Yogaraja. Great year for the Red Knights, and uh, not the way they want it to end, but uh, yeah. only one team comes away with the section championship. And, and now, members of the Hornet Sports, your name is Red, will you please come forward to the Quite the finish here, unbelievable. Number zero, Brady Woolley. Brady Woolley played a great game. A wonderful game. Great ovation for Wally. Logan Chapel. Riley Nelson. Nate Chavez. Uh, quite the ovation for number five here. <laughs> There's going to be a statue erected for Groves here by next year. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas Tudutson, or Andrea Lacursi. Number 11, Owen Hurt. Tyler Shannon, number 13. Dan Connisher. Alex Loveless, number 20. Number 21, George Perkins. 21, George Perkins. Number 24, Gavin McCurk. 24, Gavin McCurk. 25 is Griffin Maurer. Jack Kramer, number 32. 33 is Mitchell Couch. He had some great hustle plays tonight, 33. And 34 is Jack Larson. Student managers are Nolan Jensen, Robert Teal. Head coach Barry Wooler. So your section 6-3A champions is the Orono Spartans. And there the fans are going crazy now. <laughs> Kids are losing their shoes. <laughs> I 
All right, Tommy, so great game. Wonderful game. Great job, Bruce, thank you. So this is what it's all about, and this is why it's, we appreciate what Park TV does bringing these kind of games, and uh, they've, they've been amazing for so many years. It's my 43rd year of doing games. Uh, Gonna see if one more time if we get Barry Coach Wooler up there. I don't think we can, but I'll go try to get him real quick. I don't think he's gonna look up this way, but yeah. We're gonna see if we get the coach up before we. We're getting. Uh, Coach Waller up here. Hey guys, Coach, coach Waller. Woo! Uh, how do you how do you coach in a game like that? <laughs> Try to stay out of the way, Sean. Try to stay out of the way. I mean, <clears throat> what a game. Uh, what uh, the nil such a good basketball team, well coached, and, you know, their kid hits a three at the buzzer. We're thinking, should we foul pull him? I like, know, make him earn it. They, he earned it. And then we call that timeout after he missed the first one and he had to play. If he misses, play if he makes it, but all involved Nolan getting the ball. And then <laughs> fumbles, it gets hacked a little bit and banks it home. And I said, Nolan, did you call glass? He said, of course, coach. You know, 43 points for Nolan um, tonight. Our stat line had 43, 18, and 11. That's a pretty good night. That, that is, that is that's, a, that's a great night. Yeah. What does he mean to this team? <laughs> well, he's, I mean, he, he is the, uh, he's the, he's the leader. And uh, the guys know, and, and, and nobody puts in more time in the gym. And um, when he talks, the guys listen. And he, his biggest attribute, he competes and competes and competes. And, uh, he has no fear. And, and um, he, <clears throat> what a great job by Brady Woolley tonight as well. And too. Brady, I told Brady, second half, he went out and dominated. I mean, rebounds and finishing inside. And I mean, there's a reason those two kids are getting recruited to Division One, right? And uh, and uh, <clears throat> the core guys around him, Riley Nelson, senior captain, Owen Hurt, had made about maybe two free throws all year. He hits them back to back when it counts. And uh, well, fans like to see buzzer beaters, oh and uh, we had three of them. We had oh. one at the end of regulation, yeah. one at the end of the first half, yeah. at, at the first overtime, yeah. and then yeah, the buzzer got beater in, at yeah. the end, which is a half-court shot. Oh. I think ESPN would have a lot of highlights yeah, tonight. We're going to try to get that thing viral. Well, Post it, boys. Post it. Oh, we will. Thanks, Great thanks, job, thanks Coach Waller. Appreciate Good it. luck to you thanks in the state tournament. All right. I appreciate it. All right. Tommy, you want to – we're going we're gonna to wrap it up, Tommy. So uh, – Again, we want to thank everyone for joining us this year. This is the best way to finish the season, 86-84 win for the Spartans. Uh, on behalf of our entire crew, first of all, I want to thank you, Tom, filling in last minute. You did an amazing job. Thank you, and Bruce. I had a great partner tonight to, to call such a great game. So. Well, pleasure to be here. This is a fun first. And again, our, our crew tonight was uh, Paul in the truck. We had Nick, Andrew, Robert. Uh, on behalf of our entire crew from Haven Center, our final score is Orono 86, Manila St. Margaret's 84. Have a good night, everyone.